Well, hello, and welcome to Multiplace Games. We are on the weekend stream, and we are taking a look at The Crust on the PC. This is another one in Next Fest on Steam, and this one is a uh, base building uh, Factorio-like game, I think. But we'll, we'll have a look at this one. Quickly, we shall look at the options. There's not an awful lot here. And I think I will also need to turn up the sound just very slightly. It's a little bit quiet. Uh, so this is a game that is in early development. You can see here they've just got some caveats there that this demo might have issues. So we will forgive them for that in advance. And we've got everything set to Epic, we're on 1440p. I've turned down Bloom a little bit because it's a bit bloomy. It was set on 5 by default and that really was quite um, quite Bloom. All this little kind of light haloing stuff here, that's your Bloom. And audio, that was default. And then input, we're playing this mouse keyboard, so of course we're not playing this on controller. So there's no need to invert the Y axis, even though that is the correct way to use a pad. So let's close that down and we will do a new game. Now it looks like there is a sandbox mode, perhaps not available in this. Happy faces. It looks like it's a fairly standard What's that layout with uh, Q and E to rotate cameras? Where's our rocket then? Not a particularly impressive rocket, but maybe that is um, a space elevator. In fact, how oh, it is? Space elevator. Maybe we're headed to the moon. We are headed to the moon. Docking gateway provision priority. Highest. Cost crossing route. Always in favor of HP 11. Priority launch and landing has been approved by Crust. And crust the organization. We have some dune like buggies for collection. Well, they're quite a bit smaller than the harvesters in dune. I haven't played the new dune RTS game yet. I keep looking at it and thinking do I want to play it? That's some very tiny text there again. Can barely read it. And that uh, auto ducking is definitely quite severe. Our some motion blur there, then. All right, Alice. A better plan. And name's Alice. Just saying. Good afternoon, Director. 
This is Alice, your first vice president. We have a bit of a situation here, but I'm already on it. Let's just test our connection before we delve any deeper. Give this dialog box a click if you're hearing me loud connection solid. That's a start. Give me a moment to secure our landing clearance. Feel free to soak in the sights while you wait. I'll ping you as soon as I have an update. Yeah, you do that, Alice. Robert, do we have a deal? Let me be clear. The risk of two-week power outage equals job loss and a costly lawsuit for me. I don't care how far can we see? Oh, we can see them quite a lot, actually. But no power for you until sunrise. We just don't have it right now. So this definitely does Robert, look like a Factorio type foot. game. Our Factorio is uh, one of my favourite games. It would almost certainly be one of my desert island games. Power situation ourselves. This benefits both of us. More solar panels for you, and we could land our Along with Dwarf Fortress. Going. They also can handle the repairs. So, should I update Mr. Halloway on our successful collaboration? All right, Alice, you have permission to land. Make sure your drones don't break anything over and out. I hope you're Director, wearing more than just that suit now. in your little permission spaceship as well. Has been granted. Show this Bob the Builder that we can fix this. Objective Select a landing achieved. location for the pods near the elevator shaft. Click on the notification located on the left side of the control interface and specify the designated landing spot for the capsule. Alice, your primary responsibility Alice? is to ensure Alice? extraction and processing at our logistic hub in the Sea of Tranquility. Currently, our operations heavily rely on external supplies. If you can address this issue, even part of the rest of the world will secure long-term contracts for you. I personally vouched for your mission to the board. You're a promising team with intriguing developments. So you better give me something I to convince I think the Sea of Tranquility is larger than that. Absolutely, yeah. Mr. Halloway. Both the director and I are immensely grateful we'll to go. you. Our focus is on establishing a long-term partnership, and we'll give our utmost to make it a reality. You can count on us. To initiate construction, choose the required modules from Director. Place holograms of solar panels on the allocated sites. Our drones will take it from there. You'll see. Where is the allocated? Oh. So it's forcing us into doing this. This is just a tutorial, I think, at the minute. Oh. Can we hold shift down to yeah we can good so it's sticking with fairly uh, standard conventions here not enough power to run the module how can there not be enough power do we have to wire it what well, you have to wire Oh, did we put the wrong thing down? Don't think we did. Didn't we just wire that up? Oh, it wanted us to build solar panels, did it? Oh, have we already messed this one up? You can't build here. Why? Wires, wires, wires. Oh, okay, so we, we can't wire these up because they are not built yet, by the looks. Well, maybe we can. Now it's crucial to conserve it if you 
want to work during the night. To achieve that, you'll need batteries. It's all good, Robert. Batteries. I completely understand you. We were already going to build batteries anyway. Director, he's correct. A lunar night lasts nearly 14 and a half Earth days in the absence of sunlight, and batteries are crucial for us. Construct four batteries next to the solar panels. All right, well, we'll do that. We've just done that now. Do we have to? Oh, we think we have to buy those up as well. All right, I think that's that's good enough. I'm not sure that these are all wired together there. Objective achieved. Your drones did a pretty good job, but the wiring tool is only operable by a human. Wire the panels and the batteries together. Next, you just need to power up the elevator, and you'll gain access to the underground level. Go to the communications panel and select the wiring tool. Yeah. Uh. What wire it, wire it, wire that. Objective achieved. Yay. Switch to the underground tab. Go in underground. Underground, underground, underground. I don't see any underground tabs. Ah. Objective achieved. There we go. Module construction. We want a mining tool. I see that they are two parts of this. Then surface and underground mining. So presumably this is where we build our bases underground as well. To no, we don't have any. Oh no, we do. Storage, recreation. What about housing then? Life support beds. So there's no habitats then, we just bung the beds in here, do we? There's a prefab. Looks like. Well so far I'm quite liking this. You now can tell. The elevator to power up the module. Now do what? Connect the with a wire. I want a wire, please. Objective Pardon my achieved. curiosity, but how are you going to extract lunar regolith with robot carriers? I am okay. far from a what? robotic expert, of course, but it seems like we have well, more shut questions up, then. than answers. At that's an excellent question, Robert, and I'd be delighted to answer it. However, I need to wrap up something first. Director, with the reconfiguration module, you can convert up to five worker drones to mining drones and vice versa. Convert four drones into mining drones and set an excavation zone for them. Uh, um, uh, okay, well... Where do we do that at, then? Do we have to select the drones? Where are my drones? Are those them? One. No. Well, you haven't told me where I need to convert them at. Do I need to build something? Now I'm getting annoyed. Because I can't actually select the drains. So I can't right click on those. They don't actually, it doesn't do anything.
Uh, life support, research, logistics. Maybe there's something with logistics? No. Drone reconfiguration module. There we go. Alright, so we have to build that underground. Can we build that here? We'll build that there. I'm guessing we're going to need to power that with electricity. Wires. Now it's powered. Right, so can we now click on that and do a conversion then? Convert to mining drone. One, two, three, four. There we go. Now let's have the drone Objective excavate key. an area measuring 50 standard units. In the meantime, 50? I'll have a chat with our curious Bob. To order the drones to start the excavation, you need to use the highlighting tool and mark areas for mining, and the digging drones will do the rest. Robert, to answer your question, our company has been providing repair and maintenance services for robotics and mining equipment for over 10 years. We were involved in the development That's a and different way of doing technology things. for lunar mining along with the first industrial expeditions to the moon, even before the construction of the space elevator and Is the that 50? development of the moon by Looks mankind. about 50. And I'm pleased to inform you, Robert, that I mean, I'd like to be able to do a, a square select as well. Develop and implement multifunctional we can priority technology that can be re-equipped for a variety of tasks. Not enough power as to run the module. Bonus, Which module? I can include a coloring book set so you can brighten up your leisure time at work in silence. That module, okay, right. Okay. So do we need you some... Do your job and I'll mind my own business. By the uh, way, I'll grab okay. a few coloring books I think we need to build another battery. I understand that I can be difficult at mine in, mine in. Electricity. She battery. Me of my We're all still on the same channel, Robert. So what's up with those coloring books? I'll send them to your wife along with some flowers. She is not likely to see them from her husband. Uh, there's, a, there's a maximum number of... What the... Flipping flip? That... That's probably not good. That's a bit explodey. Has it crashed? I think it's crashed. Oh, no. It was just a very jank transition into a loading screen. Top tip, don't make it look like your games crash when you're loading stuff. I suppose that's one way to start Robert, your factory off from nothing. No, I just blew it. There are no survivors on the base, but I had to check. And I shouldn't have said anything about flowers. But we're still receiving a signal from the drones. Our best bet is to try to repair the lift and rebuild the power supply circuit in order to save our equipment. It seems we have no other choice. We are in urgent need of solar panels and accumulators connected in one electrical circuit. With the available resources, Direct the drones to construct the power supply modules, aiming to restore the previous setup prior to the explosion. Remember to connect the modules with wires. Based on the spread of the blast wave, it appears that the explosion took place on the far side of the moon. Fortunately, really? it occurred at a considerable distance from our mission. However, the strength of the explosion raises additional questions. So, the only response we get from the head of the scientific department and a renowned scientist is that 
The explosion was far away, and we don't know the cause? That's because scientists rely on established facts, rather than speculating based on unreliable data. They prefer to work with what is known, than bang. jumping to hasty conclusions. I've heard that First Vice President Alice Vance maintains her composure and professionalism in all circumstances. Perhaps mm -hmm. it's time for you to Oop. call your alter ego. Maybe I should, Professor. Tell me, prior to the moon launch, we were actively involved in a range of technologies aimed at advancing autonomous mining. Could you provide an update on the status of this project? We had a plan for an autonomous extraction plant, but it's currently just a project. Given the circumstances, implementation seems unlikely. Now we need to fix the elevator to regain access to the underground level. So let's select put down these batteries. The we'll start put repairing it. 15 of each the down. Speed, select the required speed using the interface or hotkeys 1, 2, yeah, 3. Yeah, shut up. This can speed up the process while building modules. Or you can use the pause to plan your future base in a relaxed mode. Does that connect? It doesn't connect them all together. That's rather silly, isn't it? Can we undo that? Zed? No, there's no undo. Right. It needs an undo button game. How do I undo that then? I would have thought that putting it from there to there would have linked all of those together, but no, apparently not. <sighs> The wiring definitely needs some work. Right, they're all linked. That is linked. So they're all linked together. But we cannot link these things together. Objective achieved. We won't worry about that for now then. Um... Maybe I can demolish stuff. I'm pretty sure that I saw a, de a demolish. Oh, there we go. Demolish. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll try again with it. Or we can just leave it alone. I mean, we've got more than they needed anyway. Draw the batteries. So it's probably okay. Right, now we need to fix the ele elevator. Uh, where's the elevator? Is that the elevator? Right, we should have a repair, should we? Repair. There we go. Not enough resources for the repair, apparently. Well, how are we going to do that then? Can we not progress? Oh. They've, they're getting resources. That was a bit confusing. Where are our resource panels then? If that is not the resource that we have, where is the resource that we do have? Not sure. Well, I think it's working. 
Do we have to link it up to the power? Objective achieved. No. Director, Crust have made an official statement. I will put it on the screen. On this day, an unexpected asteroid impact occurred on the surface of the moon. Yep, that wasn't an asteroid impact, matey. It's very um, Sky News, that, isn't it? Yeah, asteroids hitting the moon is not that unprecedented. They, they kind of hit the moon all the time. But explosions, yeah, they don't happen all the time. That was kind of a lie, right. Following the aftermath, charging the station so wire up at the elevator. No, that was an explosion. However, the possibility of not detecting an asteroid of that size and predicted trajectory in time raises another question. Anyway, we've received your request for research projects. Let's finish the current tasks first, and then we'll address it. Yeah, um, we certainly will. Wire me up some wires, please. Reconfigure the module connected. Which module? Charging station. We need a charging station as well. Um, so, buildings. I think that was in here. Charging station. There we go. Let's put that there. And we'll wire you up as well. We, can't, we need a kind of distribution point, don't we? I mean, we, this weird thing is we've got 10 connections on that one. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm mad keen on how the whole wire stuff works up to, with the nodules on that. I think that needs rethinking, to be honest. It shouldn't really be there any restrictions on where you can run your wires. Why are you not doing anything? Is it because we've built too many? What if we bulldoze these? Do we get... Finish the research first. I can't because... Research. What? Not enough power to run the module. Well, I don't know what's going on now. Drones idle. Not enough resource to build the module. But I can't bulldoze anything. What if I bulldoze those? Do I get some resources back maybe? Maybe that'll help. Ah, there we go. So we didn't completely scupper ourselves. I don't like it when tutorials just let you get into a state where you can't complete the tutorial design. I mean, that's bad tutorial design. Especially if your instructions aren't particularly clear. You should never be in a position where you don't have enough resources to complete a tutorial. Reconfigure the module. Which module? Oh, the underground module. Do we have to wire that up as well? 
Well, I don't know. Outposts showcase humanity's technological advancement. Their longevity is limited without the presence of essential resources like steel and concrete. Now we mm -hmm. do have electricity, but we need both steel and concrete to keep the modules running. Of course we do. Start by researching and building the pressing module, which enables the production of smart concrete from regolith. While not the most efficient method, we need to prioritize speed over optimization. It's a good job you're here to help, Alice. Mining area to the digging drones to ensure a steady supply of raw materials for the pressing module. Uh, is that the underground one? Let us excavation mode. There we go. You go and dig this stuff. Why is that bit orange and this bit green? What's the difference? Is that a mount that's in there? Now Professor Wilfrey will explain to you how to use our research projects, and I will come back to you later. Let's begin with the fundamentals director. Alright, thank you. Each unit of regular but I would have thought that the director should have known this by now. And at the moment, you're primarily mining barrel Build a pressing module. To locate resource deposits, we require the ore detector. Open Ooh. the research panel. Select geological exploration, and we can proceed with our work. Once this research is completed, you'll gain the ability to construct the ore detector. We had prepared geological this exploration for the future, but we must adapt and work with it now. It may seem cynical, but considering the circumstances, our best course of action at the moment is to try to save the equipment that has miraculously survived. Um, there isn't one called that. Do you mean geological prospecting? Are those ones we've already unlocked? I think we will go with geological prospecting. It's actually it's a scroll wheel that's moving this, given that that's the only one with geophysical on it. They must mean that one. Make sure your words matched up, game. That's another problem, isn't it? Social. Unless it was in here. No, it was not. How is ice melting? Social. Unless you're drinking whiskey. Maybe it's whiskey related. Hmm. And oxygen technology, I wouldn't say was social either. I would say that was more engineering. Hmm. And scanning aluminium. That's people do that for social fun, do they? A bit of a weird category, if I'm being honest. Right, let's build a pressing module. Do we I don't know whether we need to do that underground or overground. Uh, but it's not on that. So maybe it's in production? No. Maybe we don't have the tech yet because it's not researched. Bulk storage? Logistics? No. Life support? Recreation? A chair? Fantastic. Alright. Ice extractor. We don't have a pressing module in there. There's a pressing module, so what do we need for that then? Underground only, right. Why have you paused? Um, I don't think I clicked on pause, did I? Production pressing module. Research oh, I guess. Complete. Oh, thank you. Research completes. I probably need to wire it up as well. We've got 10 on there. Oh, that's wired there. Good. Mm -hmm. 
Chunk's mine too. Do we have to link these up in any way? What was that? That was a reconstruction thing, wasn't it? So who's doing the mining then? Is anybody doing mining? Fundamentals. Let's increase that then. Unlocks fuel generator, fuel factory, large batteries. Yeah, no, I, I do think the tech tree props need some work. Durable walls, conveyor belts. Let's get that. And underground extraction. We'll do that. And a refinery. Oh, we can't. Well, we've got research queued. We can speed that up as well. If we do run that at four times speed, was that three times, four times? Uh, battery charge discharge rate. Why is that not going up? Oh, I think it might be. I think that probably should be increasing, but it it's a bug. And I'm not quite sure why they are not doing anything. Do we need to do something with that? Production on. Not enough resources for production. What resources are we short on then? The ores. Um, hmm. Exclamation. Well, we've, we've marked stuff there. Uh, Perhaps we have to convert some more drones to do mining then. Perhaps that's what we haven't done. Ah, that's what it was. So lots of little things that we need to link together. We've got our 20 chunks mined. All right, now get the drones to build it. I wouldn't wait too long if I build were Build what? And add a bulk resource storage to it, so your drones have a place to take the regolith they've mined. Keep in mind that the detector contains ultra-sensitive phased arrays, making it essential to storage. construct it below the moon's surface. It is not designed to withstand lunar dust and solar radiation. Um, bulk storage. What else do we have to do? Build an ore detector. It's going to come under mining, surely. Yeah. And I'm guessing we need to wind these things up. Wires. Do we not? Need to? Oh, it's storage. Does storage not need power? Hmm. Apparently not. How are you going to keep stuff um, warm or cool or lit? And if you don't need power, you don't need power.
How many drones have we actually got? And how do we build more of them? I think we've got eight. Yeah, so if we put four on that, we'll have four for construction then and four mining. Oh, so that does not shut down. Escape is not consistent in closing windows, which it normally should be. Yeah, you mine, mine away. Hmm. I mean, the animation's a little bit basic, but not a big deal. We can see that they're mining. That's all we really need. Why aren't you building that? We prioritise that. Yeah, so we've not enough resources for construction. Well, what do we need then to construct it? We need steel. Alright, so do we have to deconstruct some more of these then? For our steel. Hopefully that will be enough. Think maybe. We need four. It says, come on, two, three. Still not enough. another two of those. Hopefully that will be enough then. Speed it up. Speed it up boys. Now have we got enough? Yes. We've already wired it up. Uses battery power to every scan. The bigger the scanning area, the more power it requires. Select the ore detector and scan the regolith around it. You need. Shut up. Scan. Objectivity. Now we require a smelting furnace, which employs the reduction method to convert the oxide into usable resources. Although we haven't tested this technology yet, theoretically it should work as intended. Theoretically? Professor, are you sure that it's worth taking the risk at this moment? Our no. whole enterprise is now one big risk. It can't be eliminated even if we do absolutely nothing. So yes, I'm quite certain about that. Um, hmm. Build a smelting furnace. Modules, so that's going to come under production, I would have thought. Smelting furnace. Hopefully we've got enough resources for that one. Objective achieved. But that needs power as well. Power. So these little pylons have four connectors, so that's how we will have to expand that up then. So, if 
we go back to mining. Now select the recipe for producing steel in the smelting furnace. Okay. Where's the recipes at? Choose steel. The smelting furnace always requires oxides to begin production of any resource, and mining drones are able to extract oxides directly from the vein. It's not the most efficient way, but we have to start right now. Order them to excavate the regolith on top, and then assign them to extract iron oxide from the vein. But we haven't got power yet. To be able to assign mining drone to mine the vein, then set the number of drones that will mine oxide from the vein. Is it wired? Did they wire it up? It is wired. So why is it saying it's not got electricity? Excavation mode. That's basil. That right, says FV, so that must be iron. Because it's not consuming anything yet. Assign drones to mine vein. But well, haven't I done that? Go into and then go into the mining mode. And assign drones. Is that it? Ah, okay. Now you have steel and smart concrete production, but it is extremely inefficient. To secure a foothold, we need to build a fully capable production chain. You do have a plan, don't you, Professor? And while they're digging, we need to research underground mining and build the extractor. Select the necessary underground research mining. and we will start working on it immediately. I think we've already researched that. researching build an extractor on an iron vein so we should be able to build that then mining an extractor yes good see I think that is actually producing stuff even though it says it's not powered up I think that might be a bug. Right. seem to be building stuff. Which module needs repair? Repair. Not enough resources for repair.
I need steel. Make me steel. We need 360. It says it's offline still though. Should we see if we can build another one of those? Production. Um, what was that again? Mining. All detector. Extractor. Production. Pressing module. Smelting furnace. Can we rotate it? We can. See if we can give this one electricity. I think this game's struggling a little bit here with its um with its bot, isn't it? Director, unauthorized signal on line one. I think you might want to hear this. I'm putting it on the main screen. My name is Clyde Draper. I don't care. Your private task will be to examine the nearby repeater. All right, mate. Um, Ratchet, did you hear the news? No. Carson put you in charge of the new toy. Try not to wreck it. We won't be getting a second one. Not only have we almost lost all our equipment and communication, now we also have crust to deal with. By the way, Wilfrey, it seems they haven't forgotten about you either. Anyway, Director, we don't have any steel. Land the pod with the rover and we will proceed. We have. Is it because we don't have enough power, maybe? But then we don't have enough resources to build more of this, do we? So. But we have all the powers. Maybe we don't have enough resources to build the wires. Because it said build four batteries, perhaps four will be enough. And four solar panels. done that mate. Land a rover. Connect the extractor to the power grid. Yeah we've, we've, we've done that. I assume the extractor has started mining operations. Now let's research the single regolith refinery to produce iron oxide. Yeah we've Prior done the that. expedition we devised a three-stage processing chain to convert regolith into a refined resource. The first one is the extraction of the regolith itself from the deposits it is done by the extractor and you already have one. The second stage involves the use of the single regolith refinery. This module utilizes a thermal reaction to extract the required oxides from the regolith while processing the remaining rock into slag. You're the slag. I think we've got all of this stuff repaired now. What are you storing then? Select resource. We want to store. Oh, 
Regulus, I think. Houston, we have a problem. Yeah, you got more than one. So research. We're not doing any, are we not? Oh, we are. Primary reprices, so. And that's our second one. So it's doing that at the moment. Let's speed that up. Oh, we are. We're at maximum. I guess we just have to wait until it's done. Land a rover, force collaboration. So that is on the surface then. Where do we have to do that at? Not enough resource to start production of what though? I guess we don't need that now, so if we just destroy that. Then we can just concentrate on doing the one thing. Cargo pod is ready for landing. Let's. Oh. Do that there. Wait a second, so there is nothing bothering you two? What makes you think we're even accepting this offer? And how about checking with me and the director? Alice, back to 15 years ago, Wilfrey and I were working for Crust. I was dusting off the first lunar rovers, and he was hanging out in the lab. Of course he Crust was. holds significant authority, having constructed the space elevator and maintaining control over all the moon. If Crust says they will work with us, I'm afraid we have no choice. Well, we do. I didn't have to click on it. actually in our favour. It appears that their operations on the moon are now dependent on us. This Giant steps are what you take. To obtain everything we need by cooperating with Crust. Ah, I think we can destroy these now. The miraculously surviving moon no. An undisclosed the loss of life first. and a world Which research, on the of a humanitarian catastrophe. Do we truly consider this situation smelting. to be precisely in our favor? Maybe that's if fundamental. Landing platform. Trust, then I Robot mining. Salvage. Do we need to do like both of these? I think we might need both of those. Augmented so far that only the hull is factory made. This is top-notch equipment, a rarity even among Crust's inventory. Send it out of the base, see what we can find. Send the rover outside the base. Leave the base. Bye. Objectivity. Gave us the coordinates of the Ooh. repeater near our base. We need to send the rover there and check the status of the repeater. Before the explosion, we had a satellite navigation system for lunar transport with the signal transmitted through repeaters. Now there is no signal, so we are operating almost blindly. Perhaps we can find a way to restore the system, at least to mm. some extent. Now that we have the opportunity, the science department is eager to receive any data we uncover. With the right approach, it will help speed up our research efforts considerably. Great, Wilfrey. While you're enjoying your cozy lab as usual, I'm here sifting through scrap metal. 
It's a remote-controlled rover. The director runs it, and you're in an equally cozy dispatch center. But you still keep complaining. All this chatter is a bit annoying. What are they doing? He's idling. He's not doing anything. You could be mining. But look, that research stuff is going up now. Research complete. It's doing conveyor belts now. That is a lot. Alright, so we had to build a single regolith refinery, so I think that probably needs to be done under the ground. That's going to be under production, isn't it? So, production. No? Mining? Single regolith refinery. There we go. If we rotate that. Um. Because I think that is going to be coming in from there. Build away. Hopefully we've got enough resources for it. And it's going to need electricity. Iron oxide recipe to start production. Iron oxide. So now that you have a functioning steel production line, we can enhance its efficiency by connecting the modules with a conveyor belt. Ooh, we better research that then. Which I think we already are doing. We are, we're 75% there. He hasn't got any electricity now, why not? Module needs repair. I think we need to build some more... Um... Have we got steel now? Where's our resource? These are our resources here, look. So we do have steel now, so we should be able to build some more electricity. Let's build some more solar panels now. One. We build another we double that and we'll double our batteries enough useful data there are also enough valuable resources for us to pick up I would suggest that we don't get hopefully that's increasing price. our power up now we've got mr some... ratchet are you fully aware of the gravity of our situation and the current events Nor on the moon the gravity is a little bit less this rover is not capable of carrying cargo very much so alice and we need those resources now more than ever and i'm sure my drones can fix this piece of junk it's a Pathfinder 3B, an older model, a 3B? but enhanced off-road capabilities and greater cargo capacity. Exactly what we need. What are you doing? Why have you put me over there? Fix the cargo truck. Repair. Uh, put me back underground, please. There we go. Right. Conveyor belts. That is going to be under production. No. Logistics. Mining. Or do we have a separate menu for that? Conveyor belts. There we go. Right. Let's see. So that is steel. Aha. So that is an input to that. And 
that. Conveyor belt. What's an output then? That's the output. To that, to that. Right. Objective achieved. You now have the capability to construct production chains. At this point, I'll hand you over to Ratchet and Alice. Ratchet and Clank. If you progressing like this, we might just have a chance to succeed. What's that on there then? Oop. No, go away. Repair. And that needs repairing as well, does it? Why do these things need repairing all the time? Just auto repair them. I think these conveyor belts are all... Oh, that conveyor belt looks like it's going the wrong way. Because that is an output, isn't it? Now send it to the repeater to fetch the resources we found. Oh no, that's an input. So what does that need then? Aha, uh -huh, that... there we go. Good. I think that should be right now. Build all. That's quite satisfying. Hmm. Get resources from the repeater. Hmm. But it's definitely a slower build than Factorio. But this is probably one of the better Factorio clones I have played recently. I've played a few that weren't very good. Um, but this one, so far, seems to be pretty good. So I think I shall be adding this one to my wish list. Uh, but that's all for now. I should be back again probably on Wednesday with another game for my pile of shame unless I decide to do another one from Steam Next Fest. I mean possibly I'll do another look at a game today. But for now that is all. I hope you have a pleasant Sunday and this has been Multiplace Games. I shall see you next time. Thank you.